Have you ever read a machine knitting instruction that said, put needles in hold? Now, if you're a hand knitter or you're brand new to machine knitting, this might be a mysterious instruction. Let's take a look at why you would put needles into hold position, what hold position is, and how you accomplish this on your machine. Hi, I'm Sue, the voice and the hands behind the Knit It Now videos. And for over 10 years, we've been helping knitters learn more about their machines and have success. Let's get started. Now using hold position just prevents needles from knitting. Why would you want to prevent needles from knitting? Well, maybe you want to move your carriage to the opposite side of the bed without dropping stitches. This is called a free pass. To manually knit tuck stitch, you'd hold certain needles to create the stitch pattern. To manually knit some multicolor work, you might hold needles on one pass of the carriage and then hold other needles on the next pass. The same thing for manual intarsia. One of the most common uses of hold is to work short row shaping. Now I'm sure there are other uses for this machine setting, but just remember that any time you want to pass the carriage without knitting specific needles, you can use the hold setting. Putting needles in hold takes two steps, positioning the needles and setting the carriage so those needles don't knit. If you're interested in learning more about hold position, partial knitting, short row shaping, please visit knititnow.com forward slash short row. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel we publish new videos every week on a wide range of topics having to do with machine knitting. Click the little bell to be reminded when a new video is published. Now, whether you have stitches in the needles or not, when needles are pulled out completely, they're in hold position. This position can be indicated as D, E, or F on your machine. The latter doesn't matter. It's the fact that the selected needles are all the way out. The second part of this is the carriage setting. In order to prevent those needles from knitting or forming stitches, you'll need to set buttons or levers on your carriage or cam to prevent those needles from knitting. Let's look at different machines. Here is my Silver Reed LK150 machine. Very basic manual machine. Can you do hold? Absolutely. I'll pull a handful of needles all the way out. When I run the carriage across, the needles are put back into working position. In other words, if there were stitches, I would have knit a row. Hmm, that's not what I wanted. I'll put the needles in hold again. This time, I'm setting the rustle lever on the left of the carriage to hold. Voila! The needles didn't knit. Just what I wanted. But when I push the carriage back to the right, the needles knit. Hmm, this machine has two hold levers, two rustle levers, controlling hold in each direction. In order to hold in both ways, we need to engage the rustle levers on both sides. Here's another machine. This is the Singer 360 punch card machine. It also has rustle levers, but they're on the front of the carriage. Now, when I first got this machine, I marked that carriage with an H for hold. And I don't forget which levers are which. Just like the first machine, there are two levers controlling hold in each direction. Now this brother machine has a single lever that controls hold in both directions. No matter what machine you're using, 
After casting on, mastering hold is one of the essential skills every machine knitter must have.